The following segment is sponsored by Oakley Place. This morning, we welcome Liz Nystrom, Director of Nursing at Oakley Place. Liz, good morning. Good morning, Erin. Well, this morning, we're talking about a topic that is uh, very near and dear to my heart because we're going through this right now with my 94-year-old grandmother, mm -hmm. dementia. Yes. And I know that this is something that you have to deal with with your, your uh, residents at I Oakley sure Place. Is. So what are you know some of the takeaways that you want folks to really understand about dementia and memory loss? It's progressive. Um, it happens daily. You can watch people slip away. Um, one of the biggest things that you need to remember is that it's not on purpose. Um, they're not trying to hurt your feelings. They're not trying to make you mad. They just don't understand anymore. Yeah. Um, and then one of the other things that you really need to remember is put yourself in their reality. Um, if someone uh, feels like um, something is wrong, you're responding to the emotion, not the words. Very good advice because we've had to kind of remind ourselves that, mm -hmm. you know, as we've been working with my grandmother um, on her journey. You know, let's, let's talk a little bit more about dealing with a loved one okay. who's going through this and just maybe some of the do's and don'ts. You, you mentioned a couple already, yes. but what are some other things that we need to make sure that we're doing or not doing? Don't remind them. Um, all you're going to do is upset them. They are going to feel like you're talking down to them, mm -hmm. like they're a child. They're not. They're still adults, um, even though it kind of seems like we're going backwards. Um, like I said, respond to those feelings. Someone may say to you, the bank forged a, a $500 check. And don't say, oh, don't be silly. The bank would never do that. Say, that's really scary. I'll talk to the bank. And then try to distract them with something else. Oh, distracting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. You know, with my own grandma, we were experiencing her... Um, suddenly starting to think that my grandpa is still alive, but he's not. He's not. He's been, he's been gone for 20 plus years. Yes. You know, and, and so we probably shouldn't be saying, no, grandma. Omar, he, he's dead. You don't want to say that. Okay. Um, you, it's just going to upset them and they're going to forget. And every time you tell them, it's just like telling them for the first time. You want to say things like, well, Grandpa went to go get the car washed or, and then, you know, mm -hmm. distract. Now, is dealing with somebody with dementia, do we handle that in the same way we would somebody with Alzheimer's? How do those differ? Well, dementia is a symptom of the disease. Okay. Uh, so, and there's different types of dementias. Um, there's Alzheimer's dementia, vascular, um, temporal dementia, things like that. You handle the behaviors mostly in the same way. Um, we do a lot of um, redirection and distraction. We don't argue. We put ourselves, like I said, in their reality. Uh, sometimes their reality is a, is a fun place to be. Yeah. And they're happy there, and you don't necessarily need to bring them out of that. If it's a scary reality, you do your best to distract and redirect. Such an important topic. So many of us go through this with a loved one. So yes. Liz, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. And if you'd like more information about the services offered at Oakley Place or even some career opportunities, I'm sure they're always looking for some good folks there. Mm -hmm. You can do that by visiting oakleyplacecare.com.